Hey, sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. One area of my collection that I don't really talk too much about are my complete sets. My oldest complete set is a 1980 top set. Now, I am working on my 1978 top set, which would then become my oldest set, but I have a pretty good run of the top sets from 1980 to the present. Uh, I am missing about 10 years from uh, around the late 90s into the uh, early to mid 2000s. Um, but my goal is to eventually fill in the, those, those gaps and have a complete run of uh, tops from at least 1980 on the 78. Maybe I'll do 79 as well to, to continue that, that run. I do also have sets of other uh, companies, mainly from the late 80s uh, into the early uh, 2000s, the score, flare, donner, supper deck type of thing as well. Now, since 2020, I have been purchasing the Walmart factory sets. And the reason being is, and I think this is a Walmart exclusive, you have a one in three chance of finding a gold star parallel set and I think the odds are pretty tough, but also finding a complete set uh, that's a, a parallel that's numbered out of 99, I think out of 25, and then there's a one of one uh, serial numbered complete set that is out there. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone has uh, found the one of one yet from 2023 tops, but what I've been doing uh, again since 2020 is I've purchased two of those Walmart factory sets. One to keep unopened. So I have that set in, you know, unopened, you know, condition. And then a long-term goal of mine, now that I'm in the new house, even though my basement isn't finished yet, when it does get finished, I'm going to have a lot more space and I'd like to uh, put the sets that aren't in factory form in binders. I never really had the space to put my complete sets in binders and have an opportunity to actually look through the cards rather than just having them stored in a closet. So I've bought a second one uh, in one, the hopes of maybe getting a gold star parallel set. And if not, then there's my uh, opened set that I can then in the future put into a binder. Now, when I opened the one set in 2020, I just got the base set. But for the last two years in 2021 and 2022, I was lucky enough to find the Gold Star Parallel set. So again, I've purchased two of the 2023 factory sets, uh, the Walmart factory sets, and I'm gonna open one. I think I may open this one. And I'm going to turn the camera around, open it up, see if I can do it, th make it three years in a row that I hit one of the gold star parallel sets. So again, I'm going to turn the camera around and let's see how I make out. Okay, here is the Walmart factory set. If you're not uh, familiar uh, with the, the Walmart factory set. Uh, I believe there's a, a hobby factory set. Uh, Target may still have its own version. Uh, I'm not sure what's what's different maybe with the Target versus the hobby. Uh, there may be another type of a retail factory set that's out there. But as you can see here, one in every three sets is a complete set parallel. Also included in here are five rookie image variation cards and five of the random uh, selection of five of the 660 cards uh, are a Walmart exclusive uh, foil board parallel card. And there it says, look for the one of one set. Uh, again, that one of one set has every single card in a certain uh, parallel version. Every single card is a one of one. Even though it doesn't say it on the package in years past, there's also been a parallel version that every card serial numbered out of 99 and also one out of 25. So it doesn't specifically say the other potentials, but I'm assuming in here for 2023 
that they also have those other numbered parallels. So let's get right to it and see if uh, my luck continues for a third year in a row or hey if i just get a base set nothing wrong with that because again uh, i can put that in a binder i mean i'd still put this in a binder uh it wouldn't be the the base set it would be a parallel set so technically for 2021 and 2022 i actually now also need to buy a regular base set to eventually put into a binder uh, because I only have the gold parallel uh, versions. So here we go, gonna open this up. And let's put something down here to hold this down and let's see what we have here. So these are, um, these are the image uh, variations. You have Gunnar Henderson, here on the front, uh, Adley uh, Rutschman of the Orioles as well. Might as well go ahead and open these. Uh, no real reason why I need to keep these um, unopened. So I'll show you the, if you're not familiar with the um, image variations here, there's the Gunnar Henderson. And we have the Anthony Volpe. You might get that to focus. There we go. Anthony Volpe. We have Jordan Walker. Riley Green. And again, the Adley Rutschman. All right, and then here are the, I, I think, Walmart exclusive foil boards. So let's see which random five, and they all are serial numbered Looks like two odd serial number there. Let's see if I, again, if I can get it focused. No, it's not gonna focus for me. 600, there we go, 608. Uh, not sure why Tops picked that serial number at 608. I'm, I'm sure there's some reason, maybe a pattern to it. Maybe previous years were uh, serial numbered, maybe, you know, one more or less than that. But here we have the San Diego Padres. And we have a Jose Suarez. Love the shine on these. Look at that. And next we have a David McKinnon rookie card. And... I don't think there are any like uh, uh, autographs that they throw in here. I think these are only just the the foil board parallels of uh, the cards in the set. Dean Kremer. And the last one is, is it CJ Cron? Yep. So there we go. So cool foil board parallels. So now the moment of truth to see if we have a parallel in here. So I'm just gonna grab a stack here. If I can grab it here without ruining any of the cards. All right, here we go. And it's just the base. Oh well, like I said, um, my, my luck so far, I'm, I'm betting 500 uh, out of the four years. Two years have been base, and two years have been the, there's a Kyle Schwarber, have been the gold star parallel. So there you have it. Uh, didn't hit any gold this time, but like I said, now I have a opened set that uh, in the future here, I can put in a binder. So appreciate you guys. Uh, watching as I see if I strike gold for the third year in a row. With that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.